Welcome to the trial version of the Digital Sales Rep. If you're totally new to creating websites and editing content, we recommend you go through these videos sequentially to get a good feel for how it all works and how you can build an awesome site and use it as your most effective marketing tool. If you're familiar with WordPress or you've updated content on other sites before, you may still want to view these videos to see how this is different. To begin, let's get acquainted with the basics of editing content. All content exists on pages. Pages make up a website. You click on links to go to different pages. So think of a page as a canvas on which you place content. Now content can be anything from text and images to video, image galleries and forms, you name it. Really anything that can go on a web page is considered content. To get started, the first page we're going to edit is the About Us page. So let's click on Pages in the Admin sidebar. This will take you to a list of all the pages on your website. Let's scroll through them to find the About Us page. Now let's click on that. This is how you edit content for the About Us page. Everything you want to do for the About Us page, you'll do here. Here's how all pages work. Every page is made up of rows. This signifies a row. You see, I can click and drag and easily move rows up and down. To add a new row to a page, click here. Each row contains columns. Every row starts with one column. You can change the number of columns and their sizes by clicking here. You can also rearrange columns by clicking and dragging. To add a new column to a row, click here. Inside each column is content. This is where everything goes. Now let's edit some existing content. There are two different ways to view a page when editing your content. What we're looking at here is called the backend editor. This gives you access to all the functionality for the page as well as keeps you within the admin for the entire site. The second way to view a page when editing content is called the front end editor. I can access the front end editor by clicking here. Now I'm looking at the page as seen through the front end editor. Anytime I want to edit something, I hover over it. When I hover over it, I see three icons. A pencil lets me edit the content. This icon lets me duplicate the content. And the trash can deletes the content. To edit this text, I'm going to hover over it, then click the pencil. This is the same text that's on this page here. When I edit the text in the box, I'm actually editing the text on the page here. I'm going to edit the text the same way I would edit text in, say, a Microsoft Word. Put the cursor where I want, start typing. If I want to paste in text from another document, I'm going to copy that text, say, from Excel or Microsoft Word. Then, and this is really important, I'm going to click this little box here with this little icon. This lets me paste in text and match the style being used in the website. If you don't do this, your text will be the same style you had in your other document, which is some random style unrelated to the web design. Now that we're done editing the text, let's have a little fun. Let's make it move when you first see it. Click Animation. So you can make it move in a bunch of different ways. Let's make it move from right to left, so it'll look like it's coming in from the outside of the page into the middle. Once we're done editing the text, click Save Changes, then Close. Now let's edit this image. Again, to edit something, I'm going to hover over it, then click the pencil. This is my image. I'm going to click the X to delete it, then the plus sign to add a new image. I can add an image from the media library or upload an image from my computer. Let's pick an image from the media library. Click on the image, then click Set Image. Let's make this image move too. In this case, we'll have it move from left to right so the image and text both look like they're coming in from the outside and meeting in the middle of the page. Next is image size. I have great control over the size of the image as it appears on the page. I can use general instructions like thumbnail, medium, large, or full to very specific sizes like 200 pixels across. 
almost all the time, I'm just going to type in full. This means the image will fill the column that it's in. So if the column is half the page, the image will be half the page. If it's a third of the page, it'll be a third of the page, and so forth. Now let's scroll down a little farther. I can add some interesting design elements here, such as 3D shadow. If we scroll down a little bit further, we'll see extra class name. And here's where I can add English-based commands. In this case, let's add corners round, then a size. This is a full list of different English-based commands you'll find in the Support Center. When I'm done, save changes, then close. When I'm done with all my edits for a page, I'll click Update. Now since we're done with all the edits for now, we're going to go back to the back-end editor, which takes me back to the main admin area. To see my changes, I'm going to click on Page View. Now this is very important and help to keep you organized. When I click Page View, this will take me to the actual page on my website. When I'm staring at my website page, the only way to get back to it is to click the Browser's Back button. So here's a suggestion. When you click on View Page, instead of going right there, I'm going to open it up in a new Browser tab. This way, I have the Admin page open and the actual page open too, and I can toggle back and forth. That's it. Now you know the basics for editing content on a page, and that concludes our first lesson in this trial.